This is an unplanned but quite interesting video because it's a, something I've never actually seen before. Now, these are fairly common Chinese meteor lights, and one of the reasons I got them was I was secretly hoping the power supply was going to be the really dodgy type that basically is a capacitive dropper, and all the cabling, all the sort of flimsy wiring going out to them is basically reference the mains. But sadly, in this case, they've actually sent proper, albeit minimalist, power supply, which is like a super cheap USB power supply. But uh, repurposed, no feedback or anything like that. It's all regulated uh, from the primary side. And I'm not sure what voltage it's putting out, but it's going to be quite low because these things basically just have a chip in the end and then the LEDs, no resistors or anything. So it's probably relying on the chip's own internal resistance to limit the current to the LEDs. However, these things... Uh, Normally, run them like this a meteor effect, it sweeps from one end to the other and just repeats. And because the timing's all erratic between them, you know, manufacturing tolerance, they all run at their own speed. However, this one has just started doing something really weird. And I've turned the power off and on again, thinking it crashed, but it's not. Uh, and then I noticed that there's a couple of LEDs out in it one there and one there. And that suggests that one of those LEDs has gone short circuit, as so many of these LEDs do, the sort of generic Chinese LEDs, when they fail. And these things are tri-state multiplexed. It means that it, it may, they can run, in this case, 18 LEDs from probably just five pins in the chip. And I've never thought about it before, but because uh, there's quite a complex uh, interwiring system to allow so many LEDs to be addressed individually from, from so few pins, and obviously because these LEDs, one of them has failed a short circuit, it's linking two of those pins and causing weird pattern issues. Uh, the chip's probably still running. It's trying to put the data out to make it chase down, but it's being interpreted by those, those shorted lines as uh, that sort of weird random pattern, which isn't unpleasant, to be honest. It's all right. However, uh, I'll be covering these in more detail later on and the little power supply, and we'll be taking a look inside it. Um, but yeah, interesting stuff. I've never actually seen a fault like this in tri-state multiplexing before. It's quite, quite novel, actually.